So this is the sea pie that we're having. And here's the cook. Hello. This is Jeff Sabo. Um, so what did you do for the sea pie? Well, it's a three-decker. It's made with hot water paste. The bottom layer is beef. The middle layer is pork. The top layer is chicken with forced meat. Oh my god. And it does the hole in the middle, so that it has a hole punched in the middle through all three decks. That's called the companion way. Wow. So, yeah, down, uh, so Isn't that the, also called the lover's hole? No, it, I don't know. <laughs> it, it might be, but they said companion way. So then ap uh, after you put it all together, you uh, insert some stock down through there. Um, which forms the broth or gravy. And, um, okay, look at me. I'd probably say this is the most challenging dish. It was really hard, time consuming. So, oh, what was more you difficult? You didn't know what you were getting into, did you? No, I didn't. So, you we wouldn't have done it? Probably not. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you're experienced Please. doing it, like if you were a cooker back then, according to the book, mm -hmm. you, it's not in any kind of a pan. This is a freestanding thing. You don't, the crust is actually the pan. You don't, you know, you don't put it in any kind of a mold or pan. You just, you raise the crust. Oh my god. And it stands by itself. Well, I thought, you know, yeah, forget that. I knew I would not be able to sure. do that. So I put it in the spring for my hand, which wasn't quite high enough. And so at first, I, uh, so I was thinking, well, I won't be able to do three ducks. It's not quite high enough. But as I was working, I was thinking, well, okay, this, this goes pretty well. You know, yeah, it really does form. It, it stand, you know, it pulls mm -hmm. out and stands up. So I raised it up higher than the sides of the pan. Mm -hmm. To get the, the height so that we wanted. The but still, it looks magnificent. I see no collapsing. <laughs> and we're going to see how it tastes, though. I'm so excited. And I'm always paranoid. I always like to cook things longer than this. So is it. I mean, that's solid. Yeah, it's supposed to be. A book in Patrick O'Brien where they cut into the sea pie and it's kind of bloody. You know, and it comes out and they're like, oh, that's not quite cooked. Who knows? So we'll see, though. I mean, sea pie is. My curiosity is, I hope it's done. But it was cooked longer than what I said. I'm excited. God, I can't wait to get reviews. And thank you so much for cooking it. You picked the most difficult dish of everybody. I didn't think it was going to be quite as high as because I remember when you volunteered for the sea pie, I said, are you sure? Yeah, I think I probably skimmed through the stuff thing in the book and said, oh, that's just a pot pie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> well, thank you so much for making it. We look forward to trying it. We are cutting into the blessed sea pie. I mean, look at that. Wow. Look at this. Uh, uh, Message from the book relevant to the sea pie. It's too, pie it's sea, it's too late said. to worry okay, now. They're made on nautical lines, of course. They are <laughs> quite unlike pies by land. First, you lay down a stratum of pastry, then a layer of meat, <laughs> then a layer of pastry, then another layer of meat, and so on, according to the number of decks required. <laughs> this is a three-decker, as you can see. Spar deck, main deck, middle deck, lower deck. And you did it. But that makes four decks, my dear sir, said Masher. Oh, yes, said Jack. All first-rate ships of the line, all three-deckers have four. And by counting the orlock, you can make it five, or even six with the poop. The we poop? We call them three-deckers, I understand. Now I come to think of it. Perhaps when we say deck, we really mean the space between two of them. <laughs> it is glorious. Yeah. 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 Yeah.